Hello everybody, this is Seethercord here. Welcome to the official sequel to the very first video that brought any form of traction to my channel, as well as the video with probably one of the absolute worst thumbnails of this channel altogether. I present to you guys even more Skype Furry Horror Stories. In the last installment of the series over a year and a half ago, I showed you guys three stories I experienced while trying to interact with furries through the Skype platform, and today I will now be presenting to you guys now three more stories from my graveyard of horrors. To be fair, I'm more of a Discord user these days and only use Skype to contact a few certain people now, but I still have plenty of crazy and wacky experiences to share with you guys. So with that all out of the way, we can now go follow that rabbit fursuiter wanting sex down the rabbit hole which is the furries on Skype. This first story I will tell you guys about is how one furry I met was very excited to express himself to me and a few others. One day, me and a few of the other people in one furry centered Skype group were talking and having fun and we were all just dicking around and laughing and just overall having a good time. And then just out of nowhere, one of the people in the group call decided to just turn on his camera. And when he did turn it on, we just saw his room with him not on the screen. But then suddenly out of nowhere, this guy who was very tall, skinny, and hairy came on screen in his underwear. And he also had in his hand a bottle of honey. And this wasn't some normal jar of honey. This was the jar of honey that was shaped like the cartoonish bear and was super cute with the ears and nose and all. Then, I'm not exaggerating when I say this, we then started to hear the song Pour Some Sugar On Me by Def Leppard in the background. And then he starts to pour and rub the honey onto his body as if he was applying it as sunscreen. And with all of this going on, I then started to think to myself, I'm on that side of the internet again, aren't I? Anyways, me and the rest of the guys in the call just continued watching this guy do his little show, and I debated in my head whether to leave the call because this guy's looking like he's going to show his dick at some point, or to laugh my ass off because this is probably the funniest thing I've seen in around 6 months. I then finally decided to leave the call once I saw him start to place the bottle of honey in between his ass cheeks. Then I closed Skype. I went to the bathroom, took a cold shower, got out, cried for about 20 minutes while masturbating, then went to sleep. I, I didn't actually do any of those things if you couldn't get my sarcasm, except for getting off Skype for the night. Overall, that was easily one of the craziest slash sexiest things I have ever seen in the furry fandom, and I can definitely say that I can now cross that off my bucket list. I am gay. The next story we are going to address is one that has also happened in the bedroom, but however this time it will involve a little bit more skin. Or should I say noises? I don't know. This next story again starts up as me enjoying the night hanging out with others on Skype, when casually one of the people in the call said that he was going to go for a while because he wanted to go spend some time with his girlfriend. Okay, nothing wrong with that, you know, the usual stick. He said goodbye and we all said goodbye back. We expected to hear the usual someone leaving the Skype call sound effect, but instead we just heard the sound of him taking off his headphones. We then hear some conversations with his girlfriend for a couple of minutes, the rest of us realizing that he just simply forgot to leave the call and also had his mic left on. After we were eavesdropping on him and his girlfriend, we then hear them say some very suggestive things, which I will not begin saying in this video because I don't even want to risk getting this video flagged potentially. They continued their sexual talk and all of a sudden things go quiet for a few minutes. And then we started to hear the sound of the dude's bed start to squeak and creak and flat out moaning noises coming from both of them. And now the rest of the story you can just imagine in your own heads because again, I don't want to risk this video getting flagged. Like, when I make a video, am I even supposed to try anymore? Oh, it's just gonna get flagged! What the f***ing point?! For this final story we'll be discussing today, it will not involve group reactions to unexpected things. Instead, it will revolve around a guy who I met in a Skype call who I got to know a little too well. There is this one guy who I was friends with on Skype. He was a really cool dude. Very chill, nice, friendly, and overall someone you'd really enjoy to just hang around and chat with. One day I was talking to him in private and he wanted to introduce me to one of his buddies. I was like, yeah, sure, why not? He introduced me to his friend, and I have to be honest when I say that I was feeling very uncomfortable talking to him. The reason I felt so uncomfortable was because he had this very resentful and weird attitude towards everything. My friend would ask him something like, how was your day dude? And he was like, man, my day fucking sucked. I had to deal with so many idiots and jerks, it just made me feel so horrible. And to be fair, I can understand very pessimistic people to an extent. There are many of them out there. But the thing that I couldn't tolerate was when he also said this. Oh, I just hate how kids are these days. Them always being into their phones and taking selfies. I would love to just bash their heads in. And that's when I started to feel really uncomfortable. Because this person literally had so much anger built up towards people in the world that he was ready to just beat the crap out of anyone. 
So even with me feeling uncomfortable, I decided to not leave and just listen to them talk. And while they were talking, I was playing Super Smash Bros. Melee for the Nintendo GameCube. And the guy's friend must have noticed my controller was making a lot of noise because, you know, Smash Bros. is a really controller clacking like game. And then he said in this very anger filled voice, do you have to be so loud? And I just got a little freaked out that he took it out on me and then I just decided to leave the group call. Nothing happened for about two days. Then while I was at work two nights after that little encounter, I started getting messages from him. And I swear, this guy kept sending me messages for at least an hour going on about how he was just so pissed off at the world and he's thinking that most furries are dumb and annoying. And then I messaged him back saying, dude, I'm at work right now, I can't keep responding to you. But then he just kept doing it. And then I finally just couldn't take it anymore and just decided to block him. And I know this might sound a little extreme or harsh of me, but I'm the type of person that will block you if you either are very creepy towards me or are being a dick and constantly harassing me. I know it might seem wrong of me to do that, but that's just how I am, I guess. I never heard from this guy again, but I was curious as to how this guy came to be. So then I decided to do some careful investigating into this guy online. My friend who introduced me to him showed me his Twitter page before, so I went back to it. On there, I found his tweets. Most of them consisting about him talking about his political views and how dumb politicians were. But then there was one tweet that caught my eye. There was a link to this website that indicated that he was streaming something at some point. I don't remember whatever the hell the website was, but I know that I probably shouldn't have clicked on it, but I did anyway because I was a dumb 16 year old at the time. I clicked on the link expecting it to be porn, but it actually wasn't. Do you want to know what it was? It was him, in his living room, in his fursuit, and then he started to play an instrumental for the song All the Single Ladies by Beyonce. And he started to sing a parody of the song while dancing in his fursuit, but however the lyrics focused on some random dude named Michael and how he was secretly a clopper. And if you don't know what a clopper is, it's someone who gets off to My Little Pony. Let that sink in ladies and gentlemen. And with all that information being told to you guys, Let's actually go on to the lyrics of the song. The lyrics went something like this. Michael is a clopper, Michael is a clopper, Michael is a clopper, Michael is a clopper. Now put your tail holes up. I vividly remember this. I'm not making this up. That's actually how the lyrics went. I swear, man, this, this story gets weirder and weirder each time I think about it. Just how the hell do I even encounter these people? <laughs> So that pretty much wraps up all three of my Skype Furry Horror Stories today. If there is a moral to the story, even though there probably isn't because my videos just bring out the worst in me, I would say to just be careful with who you meet and talk to online, be it if they're a furry or not. Because trust me, you are going to meet some very colorful people out there if you get online a lot. If I ever decide to make a third video on this topic, maybe I could instead tackle furries on Discord or Telegram. How do you guys feel about my Skype Furry Horror Stories? Have you ever experienced anything like this before? Have you not? Have you ever experienced something like this on a different platform, be it Telegram or Discord or freaking Uvu or something like that, or Facebook? Let me know down in the comment section down below. If you enjoy my content and want to further help out my channel, please consider donating to my Patreon page, hitting that like button, turning on that notification bell, and subscribing altogether. I have been seeing record and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye everyone. I'm still curious about Michael though. He probably was some form of dominatrix for him or something. Oh my god this brings back some memories. Or this brings back memories because for real like this is like one of my favorites and I said I was gonna think I was gonna do at least decently good but I didn't. <laughs> Let's try it again.